Okay, this is Saturday, March the uh, 28th, 2009. A uh, few things we got done this week. Uh, we got the air conditioner compressor mounted on the engine. Got several of the wires hooked up. Got one of the cats even mounted in there. Although I think we'll have to work on that as far as the way it uh, interacts with the cross member uh, on the, under the transmission. Um, we got our holes made in our firewall for our evaporator, and as you can see, we've got our evaporator sitting in there for our AC right now, and the line's kind of coming out of it. Uh, it's just kind of sitting in there right now in place. I mean, we're going to have to make all the stuff on the inside to seal everything off around it, and of course, we'll have to have uh, hoses made that'll run to, from here to our compressor, and then where our condenser will be sitting up front. But we've got several other wires uh, hooked up. I hope within the next week or so we will be able to crank this thing up and see if it's going to run in there. And if we get over that hurdle, then we'll start worrying about uh, uh, working the front clip, radiator, coolers, condenser, and all that back on it, and maybe getting our air conditioner hoses made and our power steering hose running from our pump to our rack on the. Because I've got a Crown Vic 97, the Crown Vic power steering pump I got is 97 model. And of course, the front end, front suspension is 2004, so I don't know how much trouble we'll have. May have to have a hose made for that, possibly, possibly not, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, that's what's going on in the engine compartment. Uh, inside, we, got, we finally got our windshield wipers working. We uh, had to fabricate some things to get the Crown Vic uh, wiper motor to work with all the old uh, arms and linkages for the uh, wiper set up in the 67 F100 under the dash and we finally got it going. So all we got to do is turn our wiper uh, on and we have intermittent windshield wipers on a 67 F100 now. I showed this to my class this week and uh, they weren't as uh, impressed with it as I was. I must have it on pretty slow. Let's see. Turned it up. Well, there it went. Of course, right when I moved. Let me put it on a faster speed. Um, well, it's still not going. Hmm. Maybe I turned it down instead of going up. Let me. As you can see, it works fine in that position. Uh, hmm. There it goes. Anyway, uh, my students wasn't too impressed that it had intermittent windshield wipers on now. Of course, they range from the age of about 15 to uh, 18, so most of them can't remember a time when most of the cars didn't have intermittent windshield wipers on them, so they wasn't too impressed with it. But I thought it was real neat that I've got a 67 F100 with intermittents working on it now. The only drawback to this whole conversion we've done on the windshield wipers is, as you can see right now as it's on intermittent, the windshield wipers arms, they park fine now. However, when we turn it off, the arms park over in the opposite position from where they're supposed to. Now, I, to me, that's not too big a deal. I guess for some people that drive them up the wall, especially if this is going to be a show truck or something. But just for an old work truck for me, I guess it'll be fine and dandy. Uh, I kind of wish I could figure out why it's doing that because we, we lined everything up as far as to where everything was supposed to be in the park position. And as you can see, it parks fine in the intermittent mode, but uh, when you turn it off, there it goes. Okay, let me show you one last thing what we got here is where the uh, evaporator is at on the uh, that we've mounted in from the Crown Vic. We've mounted it right here at the kick panel. There was a vent, uh, those of you that were familiar with the, this era of uh, Ford pickups, uh, there is a vent control valve you can open and close right here. We removed that and put this evaporator in its place. And so, as you can see, it, once we get all this sealed off, the cool air will just go right in here where the uh, original heating system is on the 67 model. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put some uh, vents that I can uh, on top of my rear to, or top of my windshield defroster where I can spin it around and either if I need it in the uh, uh, defrost we can spin it this way if I got it in air condition I can spin it towards uh, uh, the driver and the passenger 
And then the, those of you are familiar with the controls on a 67, uh, we'll just pull the uh, defroster out when we do this. And uh, bada boom, bada boom, we got uh, air conditioning. Now I will also have to mount the uh, Crown Victoria, uh, some of the controls from it. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this yet, but I'm going to have to put some of these knobs from the Crown Vic to make all this work. Now we use the original uh, F100 uh, blower motor and I've got it all hooked together now so when we put it on vent if I don't know if you can hear the motor we got it on low we got uh, two speed and third speed and then the fourth speed so we got the F100 uh, blower motor working with the Crown Vic uh, electrical system on all four speeds now uh, we'll have to, of course, tidy all that up and so all this will look better. But uh, I'm quite pleased. Let me turn the switch off. Uh, don't forget to leave that on. And, uh, but anyway, that's kind of what we've got done this week. Uh, I hope, now I can't make any big promises, I hope we'll have this thing running come next week or the week after next. But I uh, will see. Uh, till then, we will talk to you later.